Hello, my frugal friends, and welcome to today's video. We're at Walmart. I don't love Walmart, but I live in a small town, and it's one of the few places I can go to get all of my needs. The main reason we're in Walmart is we're getting a new set of tires for our new car. <laughs> Not this one. I'm meeting Dave here. He dropped it off already. He's filling out the paperwork. I'll tell you more about the car after we do a little shopping in Walmart. Don't you worry. I didn't spend that much money on it. We'll get into more details later when we meet up with Dave, but for now, let's go into Walmart and pick out those like weird odds and ends items you add to your list and then always forget to get when you are at the store and then you get home and you're like, oh, I didn't get my eye drops. I say that because I need eye drops today. Let's go in and get some eye drops. Come here often. You might not want to record me right now. I'm a little upset. Why? They can't put on the tires today. Why? I didn't make an appointment. You know, they told me my tires were ready. Uh, is there a line? Can we leave the car here? No. What? They can't get me in until Wednesday. So you have to drive the car home? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Look what I found. This is fun. You found Christmas pants? Me and Haley's Christmas fleece lined pants for the 5K. Oh, very nice. Right? Very, very nice. And to find Haley a Sherpa. Okay. Very cool. Aren't those cute? Yeah. Okay, let's go buy our other crap. Do you guys know that Fetch Rewards is offering free products now? Free drink, free Stacy's pita chips. Oh my goodness, I need to go find that. Deli chips, bite-sized crackers. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna go look for these. I don't know if my Walmart has the right size because I have the multi-pack, the one that's too small, and the one that's too big. Hmm, where else would I be able to find those? Aha, I found these in the cracker aisle. What flavor should I get? Apple cinnamon? Let's try that. Okay, so I found these three. What are you doing there? I, I'm trying to scan my receipt, but my camera won't focus. Is it too cold? Okay, do over. I gotta get those points so I can redeem them for. Amazon gift cards and buy myself pretty things. My receipt is uploading. I've earned 10,000 points. Okay, they gave me, I gotta make sure they got it all. Come on, let me scroll. There we go. Are your fingers too cold? I don't know. Okay, so I got, Okay, I kind of showed them the stuff in the store. Okay, that's for Haley. Um, that's for our 5K next week. Do you see how fuzzy those are? Yeah. They were five bucks each, and they're like all thick and lined. Those might be my Christmas jammies. Um, we ran out of eggs. I don't know what happened there. I can't bake Christmas cookies without eggs. It's pretty rare for us. Yeah, weird. Okay, so these are the three items. Okay, Red Rock chips. That's on there. Off. Off the eaten path, get it? It's a joke. That's on there. The Kavita drink. Wait. That. Kavita drink. Some probiotic mojita. So, makes you feel fancy. Imagine bite size little crispy thingies. I think that's all the fetch reward stuff. A got back what I paid. In points though, so in Fetch Rewards, that's not actually dollars. That's like gift cards. So you can redeem for Amazon gift cards. I usually do hotels.com gift cards for travel, for free hotel rooms. That's fun. I like the Amazon because you can redeem as low as $3 gift cards, which is cool. I'm gonna scan what I bought it because why not? Let me show them what else we got. You wanna see what else we got? Yeah, I think I kind of got a peek already when I was bringing okay. it in. I saw those. Okay, so we can do them tonight or tomorrow for lunch. I just want to say, I really love fried plantains and it's really hard to find really good green big ones. ones and green ones because I don't like them. One of those is already turning yellow. I know, but they were the best I've seen in a long time. They had clearance garlic bread. What are they doing down there? Clearance garlic bread, I thought instead of Thanksgiving leftovers, we could probably do pizza tonight. Change it up a little bit, right? I got a little date night treat. That's for you. Ooh. And I got myself a strawberry. 
And then that's for you. And that one's for me. Oh. And I don't know how these ended up in my cart. Yeah, you do. I, they, someone must have thrown them in. Someone's throwing stuff. Someone's throwing stuff. You were by yourself. And then super blue and eye drop. And that's all. That's okay. Let's talk about the car. What do you want? What should I say? What do you want? What have you already told them? Just that we got one. Okay, so we, we found a killer deal on a car. So if you might not think it's a killer deal, it's all perspective. Yeah. Uh, we found a 1999 Honda Accord with 250,000 miles. Yep. The guy listed it as a Honda Civic. Which I think is why we got it. I don't think he understood what he like, had. No, I don't think he knew what he had because it was a Honda Accord EX with leather and a sunroof and a CD player. Like, it, it's actually really clean and nice. It's really clean. In fact, the leather was redone on the front seats. The back seats. The back seats? Mm -hmm, not the front. Oh, you could have fooled me. Yeah, but that's how good. That's how good the leather looks. It, had, it was making some sounds, and so we knew it wasn't going to be in perfect shape when we bought it. And he was asking $1,500. I don't remember. We gave him $1,200 for the car. He took $1,200. He took $1,200. We knew it needed a little bit of work, but what's great about where we live is there's a college with an automotive department. You can list your car, like anything that you want fixed, and they only charge, is it $30 now? Something like $30, $30 for a $30 for like labor. That's not per hour. That's total. Like... 30 bucks for labor no matter how long it takes. And so we've put it on there a couple times. And the students get a project car to work on. And you just, you just have to be Patience. okay with it not being done on your timeline. Right. Like they'll have it for like a couple weeks to like change your tires or something like that. And since this is not our car, we're good with that. It's the kid's car. It's the kid's car. So if they need it for three weeks or three months, whatever, we don't like, care. I'd rather Haley drive an inexpensive car that works well instead of my Suburban, Yeah. right? Also, this car, that's the dishwasher training. One of the big features about the car that we love is that it has a stick shift. It is a manual transmission and it was important to us that our kids learned that skill, much to Haley's frustration and sadness. <laughs> So we should say it's cost us probably about 200, I think it total about $200 to fix certain things. Yeah, we fixed a couple things. I'm trying to remember all the things that got fixed. We did the transmission flush. The air control, what do they call it? Climate control. They called it the climate control panel. Right. We found at a junkyard for $25, $30? Like $20. $20. And I went to the junkyard, had to take it out myself came back to the house, installed it myself, and all of the panels, the buttons, the AC, all that now works, because that didn't work when we bought it. Mm -hmm. um, except for the AC does not work, it just blows hot, hot air. It blows hot, but we have Which is like, perfect right now. <laughs> well, we haven't charged it with, like, we, we, haven't, we, don't know what's wrong. we haven't done anything with it, and we don't care right now. Yeah, it's gonna be cold for the next four and a half months. Right. Is that all? That's all. That's all we've done. That's... They replaced something else that, that. Yes, it was the like, fuel pump, fuel fuel pump, and a belt. Because it was leaking onto the serpentine belt. Power steering pump. Yes. Yes, power steering pump was leaking on the serpentine belt, which ruined that. So they replaced both of those, the transmission flush, and the so, climate. So everything so far has been about 200, and then we it needs new tires, and so we're working so, on new tires. We're doing new tires. We've had it for a couple months. Like Haley just got her permit, and. It's a snowstorm outside, so we're not even gonna teach her a stick until the roads clear up a bit. But we've been fixing it up a little bit at a time. What's great about like a thousand dollar car is that it's always worth a thousand dollars. So like you don't get this huge depreciation, first of all. Second of all, it's very inexpensive to insure. And third of all, when your teenager gets into a wreck, cause I mean, let's be realistic here. It's a thousand dollar car. Like you're not like my $20,000 car or my $5,000 car, or whatever it is that you have. That's why it's there, <laughs> right? People spend more on their smartphones these days. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> anyway, that's the update on the car. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to enter the Bosch giveaway for December, link down below, to go check out that video. And 
click his face to go see any other videos that I have made in the past. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.